Hi all, welcome to the first video of the new year. This is a HP ProDesk 400 G2 micro tower. So it's not really a full size tower, but uh, it'll take uh, full size graphic cards. So look at the front, it's got a DVD writer drive and it's got the usual USB 3 ports, microphone headphone ports. So what I'll do is I'll just move the system and show the back. So looking at the back from the top down, that's the power supply. Now it's got uh, expansion slots. I've taken two out ready for the graphics card. Now this tower did not come with a rear chassis fan. It actually had a, um, a plastic cover on the inside. So what I've done is I've ordered one because it's always good to have some sort of cooling in a system like this. Um, there's the motherboard connections there. Um, so what I've done is I've replaced a uh, low power G3220 CPU with a i5-4590 which is Intel socket 1150. I've added 16 gig of 1600 MHz RAM. Now the graphics card I'm going to add is a AMD RX 550 with 4 gig of VRAM. Unfortunately the power supply that it's, uh, the system came with is only 180 watts. So what I've done is I've ordered a 300 watt power supply which is compatible with this system and then I can add the graphics card. Also um, I noticed there was a few BIOS updates for Windows 10 so I've applied, applied the latest BIOS. Easy to do that you just go to the website download the BIOS files and what you need is the bin file add that to a USB stick boot into the BIOS browse to the bin file and select the option to flash the BIOS. What we'll do now is take the side panel off and just show you the inside and as with a lot of these pre-belts easy to get in there's just one nil screw that even stays in the side panel so you can't lose it and then you just pull that panel away like so. And then it's the inside um, quite easy to work with. Um, the SSD slots in there and then I've added a mechanical drive there so that will slot in there and then you just screw them in. There's I uh, think came with three powered SATA cables so there's one for the DVD writer drive and two for the hard drives replace it I replace the uh, CPU as I said earlier and gave the fan a clean good thing about these fans and these pre-built is it's screw rather than pushing pins like Intel which can be a bit of a fiddle uh, as with all my systems always replace this CMOS battery which is good practice um, and that's the that's the power supply at the top there's plenty, plenty of room in there to work with. So the next update will be with the replace replacement power supply, the graphics card and the chassis fan. I'll also run a few benchmarks. If you've got some questions in the meantime with this system, just uh, drop me a comment. Thanks for watching.